TSM is your local election headquarters, and former El Paso Congressman Beto O'Rourke kicking off a campaign tour across Texas. That's happening tonight in El Paso as he campaigns for Texas governor, that of course against incumbent Greg Abbott. Yeah, that's right. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live from downtown El Paso where the event will be held. Shelby. Yeah, well, Natasha and Andy, Beto Rourke's rally is set to begin here at the Low Abrao Palace in just about an hour. And after this rally here, he is going to travel statewide in Texas, traveling more than 5,600 miles, holding events. Now, this is similar to what O'Rourke did when running against Ted Cruz for U.S. Senate back in 2018. Now, as we reported, according to campaign finance reports, O'Rourke raised over $27.6 million in four months compared to Abbott, who raised $24.9 million in the same time frame. Now, the editor for QuorumReport.com says Beto O'Rourke and Abbott have the resources to basically do as they please when it comes to their campaigns, with Beto holding events and Abbott saying he will spend at least $20 million on TV, radio, and digital. Now, he tells us that O'Rourke has some issues that are working in his favor. Those polls on specific issues. Um, I think there are a lot of people who maybe wouldn't say they're Republicans, but they're open to voting for Republicans who are unhappy with the GOP right now across issues, um, especially women, uh, when it comes to uh, gun violence, when it comes to the overturning of Roe versus Wade. And Now, he adds that Abbott's focus has been on immigration, something that's worked for former Texas Governor Rick Perry when he ran years ago. Now, following Beto's rally here in El Paso today, he will continue on to Pecos and then Midland and then through the rest of Texas throughout the summer. Andy, Natasia. Shelby, I know you mentioned some of the issues on O'Rourke's platform. Uh, there are lots. So do you know what he plans to speak on, kind of focus in on at the event tonight? We do know some of his focuses for his rally is on creating jobs in Texas as well as health care as well as investing in schools. But we'll go ahead and bring you updates throughout the evening once everything starts here. All right, Shelby Cap reporting for us live in downtown El Paso. Thank you so much, Shelby.